G'day, and welcome to Street Spec TV. In this episode, we're going to be bench testing a Holden V8. This is the little 253 we took out of the HQ when we put the stroker motor in it. We've given the bottom end a little bit of a freshen up, put a set of yellow Terra heads on it. We're going to fire it up and see how it goes. <clears throat> it's always a good idea after you've, whatever you've done to an engine to um, run it up on a test stand or a dyno, whatever you've got access to, just to make sure everything's okay before you drop it in the car because it's a lot easier to fix it if things go wrong out here than what it is when it's in the car. I guess a bit of a uh, trap young players fall into is they buy an engine off Marketplace or eBay or wherever, believe what the seller tells them. Oh yeah, mate. I must have put about 10 grand's worth of doll checks into that engine, but you can have it for 500 bucks if you want it. And uh, yeah, things go wrong. So uh, anyway, let's fire this thing up, see how she goes. Okay, so here's the engine. She's all hooked up to the uh, to the test bench. This is just a little homemade uh, test stand I made myself. We got um, we got battery voltage, we got temperature, we got uh, oil pressure, RPM, and I got a vacuum gauge over here to check just just to keep an eye on um, on the vitals. Um, very simple, you know, wire to the temperature switch, wire to the oil pressure, a couple of wires to the uh, coil for the ignition, and away we go. All right, there's some petrol down there. Let's fire it up, see how it goes.
So there you have it. She's uh, all sounds good. Goes good. Doesn't look like it's leaking anything. So uh, we'll put it in the garage, keep it as a spare, because I firmly believe one can never have too many Holden V8 engines. Right, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.